Hello, my friends. Good morning. Today, we're going to be looking at pronouns, subject and object pronouns, and phrases that you can make up with each of these words, okay? So, phrases like, I like you, I run with him, I bit it. We're going to be talking about different kinds of phrases that you can make up, structures you can use, English phrases for you to practice and improve your English, okay? So, with no further ado, let's get started. First off, what are pronouns? Do you know? Of course, right? If you've been studying English for any amount of time, you know that they are words that we use to represent and replace a person or a thing, right? So we don't have to keep repeating the same word over and over. We can replace it and use another word in its place. However, we have different kinds of pronouns and two of the kinds of pronouns that we have are subject pronouns and object pronouns. So, as a general rule, obviously, as in all English, with all English rules, there are exceptions, but the general rule of thumb, okay? The majority of times, you will use the subject pronouns before the verbs, like run bit. So if you use the pronoun before the verb, you're gonna use these pronouns. And if you use the pronouns after the verb over here, you're going to use the object pronouns, okay? So, I can say, I like you. I run with them. I bit him. I was really angry and I bit him. I was Mike Tyson, right? <laughs> okay, so, continuing on with uh, the explanation of these pronouns here, we have the singular pronouns, we have the plural pronouns, okay? And each of these pronouns represents a different point of view. Same here, singular, plural, first person, second person, third person, first person plural, second person plural, third person plural. David, what does this mean, okay? So the first person is me, because I'm talking. So when I talk, I refer to myself in the first person. I am David. Now, if I'm talking to you, you're the second person in the equation, in our dialogue, okay? So if I refer to you, I'm going to use the pronoun you, all right? And if I'm talking to you about someone else, we're gonna use the third person pronouns. So, if I'm talking about a man, I'll say he, Joe. He is a good guy. If I'm talking about a woman, I'll use she, Mary. She is a really nice person. If I'm talking about an object, an animal, a thing, I can use it. I have a dog. It likes to bite people. All right? So, that's what these pronouns stand for. He, she, and it. It is a neutral pronoun that we use in English to refer to things and objects. This is singular, just one person. I, you, and he, or she, or it. The plural is when we have more than one. So in the first person, I'm talking about myself and other people with me, me and my friends. So I use we. We went to the mall. We. I and the people who were with me. If I'm talking about you and your friends, I will use you as well. The same as the singular. It doesn't change. So I say, you and your friends went to the movie theater. You all. You guys. You gals. Okay? So you can be singular and plural, but I'm talking about you 
in a group of people, you and your friends. If I'm talking to you about a group of people over there, I'm going to use they. Doesn't matter if it's masculine, feminine, or even if it's just a bunch of objects, I'm gonna use they. They went shopping last night. They went to the grocery store and bought things to make pizza. So they, all right? So that's how the, what we talk about when we're referring to the singular and the plural, okay? Singular just means there's one, and plural means there's more than one, and then we have each of the points of view. Me talking, first person, talking to you, you're the second person, talking about them, they're the third person, okay? So three points of view, one, two, three. Got it? So, if I'm talking using the object pronouns, let me stand over here just so you can see this better. Okay, we have the same thing, singular. For the first person, we use me, all right? I, um, I can use he, okay? Over here, he. He likes me, all right? I'm talking to you about myself, so I say me. He likes me, he thinks I'm a good teacher. All right, so when I talk about myself in the first person, I'm gonna use me. When I'm talking about you, I'm going to say you, right? So I say he, right over here, he likes, let me go ahead and add the S here, because remember that when we use, put a verb in the third person singular, we add an S, okay? It doesn't mean that the verb is plural, okay? Like if we had one cat, two cats, we add the S because it's plural. When it's a verb, we don't make, doesn't mean it's plural, it means that we're referencing a pronoun in the third person singular. So he likes you, right? He thinks you're a good student, he likes you. He likes him. Okay, let's change it. Let me use I, so it'll make, it sounds kind of weird saying he likes him, right? You don't know who is he and who is him. So if I'm talking to you about Joe, and Joe likes John, because they're good friends, I say he likes him, but that can get confusing real fast. John likes him. So I'll just use I. I like him. I like him. He's a great student. He's a good friend. I like him, right? I like him. So I'm talking about him, in the third person, and I'm referencing myself in the first person. Do you understand how the subject and object pronouns work? Does it start to make sense here? Good. So, I say, I like her. I like her. Joanna. She's a really great person. She's fantastic. Okay? I like her. Or, I like it. Chocolate ice cream. Okay? So if I'm talking about chocolate ice cream, and I say, boy, do I like it. Okay, do you understand? So you say something, and you say, mm, boy, I had some chocolate ice cream last night, and it was great. So I don't wanna say, oh, I like chocolate ice cream too. I just say, I like it too. Okay, so then you know that I'm talking about chocolate ice cream because you just mentioned it. So it, references the chocolate ice cream in the third person singular after the verb. Is this making sense? If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I can record a follow-up video to help you out. Continuing on here, us, us, all right? He, talking about Joe, likes us. Joe likes you and me, okay? I'm referencing us, you and me, and other people. Let's say I have other teacher friends who are here with me, other colleagues. So I say, John likes us, okay? He, I'm referring to myself and others, so I'm going to use the plural version of the object pronoun. He likes us. Now, based on the context, you're gonna know if that's you and me, or if that's me and other people. If I'm talking about the other teachers, 
and you know and you're not a teacher then you know I'm referring to me and the teachers if you're talking about something that we did and I use us then you know that I'm referring to the two of us so you just have to keep things in context of what the conversation is about um, you we're talking about you and your friends okay so he let's let's use run with okay run with go for a run so since it's third person runs he runs with you and your group of friends so let's say that you like to jog you go running three times a week down around the park and one day John decides to go with you so I say he runs with you you and your friends so even though it's plural even though it's object it's still the same is the plural of the subject pronoun. You doesn't change in these situations. It's always you. Whereas we have I, me, he, him, she, her, it, and it stays the same too. We, us, and they, them, these all change. But you and it remain the same. So if I say he runs with you, he runs with you. He runs with you every week. Or I ask, did he run with you? Did he run with you guys? Did he run with you ladies last week? So I'm referring to you in the plural and I can add on another word like guys or ladies or gals just to clarify if I want to make sure that it's plural. Them. Same thing. He runs with them okay I'm talking with you about Mary and Joe Mary and Joe are professional runners they run marathons and we have a mutual friend named Alan so we're talking about Alan and I say Alan he ran runs with them he runs he's, he's starting to prepare for the next marathon. So every day he runs with them. He runs with Mary and Joe. Is that all kind of clear? Is it starting to make sense now? So these are just simply ways for you to reference different points of views when you're talking. When you use it before the verb, you're gonna use a subject pronoun. That's why we call it subject. It's the subject of the sentence, right? So we have the object, we have the object pronouns here, which tend to come after the, after the verbs, okay? So bit, how could we use bit? I bit it, an apple, all right? I bit it, I'm eating an apple, and you ask, was it good? And you say, no, I bit it, but it was awful. It was bitter, it didn't taste good. Okay, you bit, bit the what? Let's say you're Mike Tyson now, okay? So you get in a fight and you bite somebody's ear, so you bit it. So, I like you, I run with them, I bit it. Do you start to understand how you can use any of these pronouns over here? with a verb and a pronoun over here. Now, technically, you could use every one of these pronouns with every one of these verbs and every one of these pronouns over here. Technically, some of the sentences might sound, sound kind of strange, right? Wouldn't be very clear, but technically you could. So you could change the pronouns. I say, um, David likes um, it, the chocolate ice cream or hot dogs, okay? So I could say David likes hot dogs or David likes chocolate ice cream or David likes um, hamburgers, okay? Which in that case, plural, I would use them. So I could use David or I, David likes it or I could say I like 
hamburgers. So these are different kinds of sentences that you could use using the pronouns to replace the other words that you're talking about. I'm, I'm trying to keep it really simple. I don't want to confuse it too much. Maybe I should have just focused on one example here. So maybe that would have made it easier. But I just wanted to give you a sense of some different structures that you could use because we have like in the present tense, we have bit in the past tense, and we have runs with, which includes a preposition. Just to show you that it doesn't always have to be just with a verb. It can have other words included in the phrase to work as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video now. So sign off, say bye-bye. I hope you have a good day. But if you have questions, make sure to let me know. I can record another follow-up video later to help you with any questions that you might have. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later and bye-bye.